Hey Tribe, Gavin Syme here, and today we're going to talk Capture One, and we're going to talk about how to manage presets or styles, I should say, in Capture One. I actually get messages to this to my inbox quite a bit because it's fairly easy to install a co-style pack in Capture One, and I'm going to show you. But what happens after that is people want to delete or they want to update, especially in the case of my styles, because I'm always formulating and experimenting. So if somebody has, let's say, my natural HDR 4, right, and then they want to update, because I send the free update to natural HDR 4.1, 4.2, with my premium collections, and oftentimes even with my freebie collections that are over at simefx.com, and I'll put some links to that stuff in the comments of this video if you want to grab some of those freebie styles. But I'm always doing updates. I'm always formulating and experimenting and trying to make them better because I'm really passionate about making a workflow system that works in any situation. Long story short, you need to be able to get rid of old presets, styles, and put new ones in. So let's not talk. Let's show. I'm going to jump right over here to the screen. You can see I'm in Capture One and I'm in the Styles and Presets panel. And here's the Styles. And so I have what, natural HDR4, and I could go through and kind of mouse over, select what I want, and yeah, everything's working great. It's working like style should. Okay, but how do we get there? Well, first of all, if you click the three dots at the top in this menu, you can save a style and you can import styles. So you can click import, and it's gonna ask me to browse around. I'm gonna go to my downloads folder because I know I have a version of Filmist, and this is the, extracted version. So I made the download and then I extracted it. And if I go inside here, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff because this includes the Lightroom presets as well. But I'm looking for my Capture One and I'm just going to go for that pack right there and click open and boom, it's going to appear then right up here in Capture One. Sometimes it takes a few seconds depending on your system to get all of them loaded in. But there we are with Filmist. Now, the other way to do it is if you have a download, so let's say I was in my Finder on a Mac or in Windows in the File Explorer, and I can go to the Downloads folder and you can see here are my files. There's my zip. I extracted it so I could get to the presets, and in Capture One, I have the co-style pack. And if I just double click that, normally it's just gonna open right up in Capture One with no problems. Okay, so let's actually go back to Capture One here and we'll take a look. If I go here, we see we have now two because it was already in there. So we, now we have Filmist 1.3 underscore one, okay? So when this happens or when a new version comes or when you just have something in there that you want to get rid of, you don't need anymore, what do you do? Here's the problem in Capture One is Capture One really still has not implemented. As of early 22 when I'm recording this, they've really still not implemented any sort of a management system within the app for your styles. And this is a little weird because styles like presets, these are a very important part of a professional workshop, workflow because if you're editing faster, if you're trying more varieties and more formulas faster, you're editing better because you're getting more possibilities in less time and getting to a better result in the time that you have. And hopefully we'll see phase one implement a management tool. But for now, you'll see if we right click, and if you know Lightroom, you know that if you right click on a pack, you can see delete group, etc. Well, it might confuse you. Don't click remove tool styles and presets because that's just gonna remove like this tool panel from here and then you're gonna have to go find it or reset your workspace, etc and you're gonna be annoyed. That remove tool doesn't actually remove this group of presets. So in this case, we need to uninstall the old, or in this case, the double install of Filmist. How do we do it? Well, here's how we do it. What we actually need to do, we need to go out of Capture One and go to the actual directory. And yes, it's a little bit of a pain, but it's really not that hard. We need to go to the actual directory where Capture One is storing the presets. So in the case of my Windows machine here, you can see this is in my username, app data, local capture one styles 50. Don't fret about this path because I'm gonna paste the path for both Mac and Windows in the description below the video here. Okay, so once you're in this folder here, 
here's all your presets. Whatever packs, whatever style packs you have in here. And you can see they're just folders at this point. A style pack is a zip file of the styles that's been renamed to co-style pack. That's what Capture One recognize as a pack to import. But once they're in here, they're actually just folders, okay? So you'll see here, if I go to here, I have some duplicates here that I don't need. So I'm gonna go to our folder, and in here, I can delete, rename, do whatever I want. I can rename presets, all kinds of things. I'm gonna delete that one, and let's delete this extra version of Filmist, okay, and delete. That's really all there is to it. Once you get to that path, and you can save a shortcut to that path in your shortcuts folder or something like that if you want. All I have to do at this point is close Capture One, and I'm gonna do that right here, and then I'm going to reopen Capture One, and it will read what's currently in that folder, and everything should be good to go, and it really is that simple. Let's come back to the screen in Capture One, and let's take a look here. If we go to our custom styles right here, we can see now we have Filmist 1.3 along with all the other stuff without all of the duplicates, and apparently one of the duplicates I didn't du delete because we still have a duplicate of silver. 4.1, but that's all there is to it. And you see now, we just did it. I'm gonna go back to this folder and right click and delete that duplicate of silver because I do not need two in there. And we kind of got this whole mess. So let's delete those extras, get rid of that. And when I go to restart, again, it'll be up to date. Bottom line is, at the moment, as of early 2022, there's no built-in management tool other than just importing a co-style pack, which you can also do with double clicking. So to manage those, look at the path I'm gonna put in the description if you don't already know it, whether you're using Mac, whether you're using Windows, I'll give you that path. Go to that path, delete the groups that you don't need or that you're trying to update, and then just install the new version. In my case of, let's say you're installing, hey, I wanna put Silver 4.5 in, just load up that new version, delete the old, and you're good to go. I hope you found this useful. I hope it didn't drag too long. I just wanted to cover all the questions that I get on this, make sure I covered what you guys needed. Please hit that like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you found this format useful and we will see you on the next one.